I'm curious as to whether or not this would go through two level two plates. I'm saying no. Ryan, what do you think? Ryan says no also, but this is subsonic SB193 made by FN. Hard to get stuff. This is a subsonic. I want to say it's like, I think it's like a 40 gram round. Oh shit. This is a subsonic 5.7 round, and a lot of people are like, okay, that sounds to me a lot like 22. Bear. But this will actually go through body armor. Can your subsonic 22 do that? I doubt it. All right, we're going to tape up one of these soft armor panels. These are level 2 panels. We're going to see if it's going to stop a 9 mil. God. Wow. Not comfy. You can see, look at that, it looks like a slug went through it. But the round's in there. This trauma pack defeated a round of nine millimeter. I guess you would survive. It would not be comfy. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape up two of these and we're gonna use the subsonic SB193 out of the Ruger 5.7. Let's enjoy the tone together. Oh yeah, it went, it went supersonic, but yeah. So SB193, it'll go, it's not very loud, but it'll go a little, a teens supersonic whenever you shoot it through a 16 inch barrel. But what that tells me is we are about to shred these two level two soft armor packs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, um, one, two, three, right on top of each other at 25 feet. And then one, two, three, just holes right on the other side. I mean, just it, not even close. Like there, there was zero resistance from subsonic. Now, again, this wasn't truly subsonic, but you can see through two level two plates that stopped, one of which, one of which stopped nine millimeter. This just went through. SB193 like a hot knife through butter.